we could um, do an in the box versus out of the box sort of thing. Yeah. If we can figure out a good way to make it. I guess I don't know if we want to make it sort of scientific where it's really comparing apples to apples as best we can, you know, just to hear the difference. It's my first day on an SSL. <laughs> Say hey, Ryan. Hey. <laughs> What's on? Um, don't leave a light on. All right. Yeah. And the top thing says, uh, it says SSL mix. I basically, bl bl it's just the tracks. Flatten it out. Okay. Yeah, there's a okay. couple of plugins that may or may not open and it doesn't matter. Okay. Maybe. So what was this, 1987? Yeah. Tell us about this board. It comes from a studio in France, um, plus Trent Studios. So I have no idea what records could have been done on here. Maybe I'll look that up someday, actually. Yeah. That would be good, just to see, you know. But um, And it's a 4000G. 4000G um, with a G Plus computer. These are not the moving faders. These are just VCA-based faders. So what's the, what does that mean? So basically the moving faders is what they call ultimation. Like fly, flying hear, faders? Uh, well, flying faders is actually a Neve thing. Uh -huh. That's where the name, they, I guess they own the name for that. Uh, ultimation is what Pro Tools calls the moving faders. So it would be a silver metal fader. And there's a motor attached that where the faders will actually physically. move. So these don't physically move. They don't physically move. But it writes automation. It writes automation through a VCA. And it's all in the computer. And you can actually um, assign the fader to the meter. So you can see these meters moving when I move the fader. So you mm -hmm. can watch your faders move on those meters instead. That's awesome. And shows, shows the moves. So that's, that can be handy too. It's a, it's a good day in the neighborhood. Yeah. This is a slutty little room. <laughs> We're sending out. Okay. So everybody gets their own little fader there. Focal lead with a 25 on that. Yeah. Here's yeah. the moment. I'll put you on that inner chin. Oh, I'll show you this too. These knobs right here. Yeah. See how they move? Those relate to these in the middle. These are VCA masters. Oh, for so I gotcha. A lot of times I'll just start with a, a loop of section, the simplest sort of, right. you know, section of sound.
meter. Every once in a while, a meter stick. Just give it a good thumb. Was that four that was sticking? Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering because I kept hearing the floor, the yeah, floor talk, the floor and I'm like, it's not moving. Yeah, sometimes. Well, especially if you like, if you ever get a session where levels are super hot and you need to change berry, it kind of wears it out a little bit <laughs> and you will get stuck to so the So what do you think of this, Mr. Ryan? I think we're pretty close. Sounds good, man. Rock song. I love the separation. We pulled in the in the box mix. Well, not in the box, but the mix that we did, right. with, uh, stemming it out, and uh, yeah, this is. Yeah, these things. I mean, they have a sound, you know. This so is a whole other trip. It's everything louder than everything else. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that was so different right off the bat was it sounded so much wider. And it sounded, it was weird, like there was more space between all the instruments. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. It was just a depth of field and the totally depth of different. Yeah. And, and yet, like, like, the, like the electric guitars were panned left and right hard and panned left and right in the. Uh, they and got the, wider. And the, and they're, but they're so much different here. Sure. It's crazy. And the thing is, with, with everything wider, it makes it seemed like it makes the kick snare and vocal more powerful in the middle. Clears up the middle. Because right. the middle's cleared off right. more. Right. Today I think just cost me a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Not in studio time, but in Yeah, right. <laughs> but I, I, what I'm thinking is uh, I think it's maybe time to have a little garage sale and get rid of some stuff and <laughs> Get aboard, man. This thing is beautiful. It's been a lot of fun today, too, like working on it. And, you know, Ryan's been teaching me some of the basics of how it works. It's, uh, it's, uh, you know what I noticed? It's, those straight clothes, it's right? not too bad. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not the, the hippest in the first place, so I'm kind of dealing with it. If you can work the plugins, you can work this. The thing that's crazy is that you keep moving, you, when you're mixing and working like this, you keep moving out of the center of the speakers, right. where with what we do, like you never move, right. like your trackball and it, you know, so this is, this is, but it's kind of, like at first it was weird, like moving around so much, but then it was like, it was actually kind of cool, it's more physical. And also I'm not looking at a screen. Yes, that's good too, I'm not looking at a screen. <laughs> I always said somebody needs to make a, a scan like they do for iTunes. They make it for Pro Tools, so as soon as you hit play, it's like reels of tape. Nice. Getting around, so you can't see what's going on there. <laughs> Ryan's thought on that is that instead <laughs> of looking at like the numbers, you're just using your ears and your hands. Let's look at all these bouncing meters. I mean, that's much more interesting than a Pro Tools graphic, isn't it? We got 1980s Atari graphics, <laughs> like 2600, I'm pretty sure Frogger. Or Pong is going to happen up there in a minute. <laughs> so. What's the one where the ding, ding, ding? Pong, right? Pong? <laughs> the little paddles. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to walk around so you can see what's here, guys. And we're going through the 2500. That's on the stereo mix. In old mode, so it just makes Fats it nice and squishy. kind of like parallel compression for drums. Drums, right. Got a um, vocal going here. What is this again? Vocal, vocal? stress. ADR vocal stressor. So just using the compressor side of it. And then use the vocal tech. chain. Pull tech, just adding some 8K, a nice wide bandwidth. Seven looks like a lot, but it's not on the pull tech. Nice studio, man. Stuff everywhere. There's like a room back here. This is kind of the hang room. The live room. Anybody want a drink? <laughs> 